What's up guys? We are back again for another review. We are digging back into the Masters of the Universe Classics line today, taking a look at Mosquito here. So we're going to go over normal stuff, paint, sculpt, articulation, all that all that fun stuff. There's not tons to talk about because, you know, it's a Motu Classics figure um, and they have kind of standard articulation. So we'll start there. Head can swivel back and forth, up and down. Not a great deal just because it's going to hit that armor piece in the back. The arms can go out and in and around, all that. They do get hindered by the armor to a degree because it does take up a little space on the on the bucket of the figure. There is bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and we have a uh, swivel at the wrist. He does have a waist twist. He does have a crunch, but it's going to be hindered again by that armor. Legs can go all the way out. We got full splits if you if you want to do that. Legs can go up a little bit, not all the way. That uh, loincloth is going to get in the the way just a, just a tad. And then back a decent bit. There is a swivel at that thigh joint. He's got a single jointed knee. There is rotation at that boot. And then of course he has a hinge at his ankle. Now as far as the sculpt goes, this is where this figure shines for me. And most of it is obviously in the head. So if you're familiar with Mosquito from the vintage line, this is pretty close. He's a little different, but he's pretty close to that vintage look. He kind of incorporates some of the the 2000X uh, NECA Staction design into this, but overall, he's a pretty good classicized version, classicized, yeah, sure, uh, version of Mosquito. So, you know, he wasn't in the show, he was in the comics, and I think the Marvel comics, and then he had a toy, and then he had a Staction. Uh, so he's he's in Motu, but he, you know, a lot of folks may not really know who he is if you're not a diehard Motu fan. So, as far as the sculpt goes, he looks pretty good. I think this is a really good rendition of Mosquito. I love the kind of armored mosquito type head with the you know the little stinger. There's kind of a gummy plastic on there, but then he's got the fins on the head. Really cool. And then of course this armor is a piece that sits on top of the buck. You can see there is a plug there and a plug there to pop it off if you want. And he's got these kind of spines on the back. These are similar to what you see on Buzz Off and on Web Store. They are articulated, obviously. They don't really do a whole lot. They can you can move them around, get a little stylistic posing in there, and then he has his horde sort of horde emblem. Uh, it's 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 a little stylized for the character. It's not the normal horde bat type logo, but that's what this is supposed to be. And this is the the homage to the original vintage figure in that that figure had a liquid that was inside. He's a mosquito, so he sucks blood, and it filled his chest cavity. This is just a it's a piece of translucent red plastic that sits over some kind of, it's a kind of gory looking piece in there. It looks, you know, like a, like exposed flesh almost. And I think it's really cool, but it, it kind of does its job of giving you a hint of what the vintage figure had without actually giving you that uh, vintage action feature. He's got the sculpted armbands here. He's got the sculpted shoulder pads. He's got sculpted gloves. He's got these sculpted boots, kind of robotic cyborg style boots. And then he's got this sculpted belt. So I think he is a good representation of this character, this the vintage figure, the um, in the classic style. Very cool. I'm a big fan of this guy. He's he, he you know he gets. Uh, I think he has a good fan base in the Motu community, but people outside of the actual Motu community probably don't really know who he is. Like I said, because he's not he's not prevalent in most of the mainstream. I guess you want to call it media for for the, you know the He-Man stuff. Uh, now as far as paint goes. We've got silver on the on the the mask because it is kind of a mask. You can see his face is actually kind of under here, and this is his eye sticking through. And this is just sits on top, really. I mean, it's not removable, but that's sort of what it's implying here. We got the white and the black in the eyes. He's got you know reds and blacks on the arm and the brown. He's got a two tone purple belt. The, the purple is one color, and then for the belt, and then the the line work is a more metallic color. And then we've got the silver here on the triangle in the center. The armor piece doesn't really have any. Uh, paint, so to speak. It's all black molded plastic, of course, except for the trim on the emblem here. And then obviously you've got that translucent plastic there giving the, the, the effect of blood in there. And then we've got the silver boots with the red triangle in there. So I think he's, I mean, he's a cool looking figure. You can't tell me this guy isn't cool looking. And he is very Motu-esque for sure. Now, as far as accessories goes, he comes with his uh, gun here. And we'll pop it out for a second. So it's just a... Uh, molded piece of plastic and it's purple obviously the uh, I guess nah. stand up buddy we got this piece here it's it's painted in uh, kind of a metallic -y 
sheen, similar to the belt, and these uh, little rivets are as well. He can hold it in either hand just fine. And it's a very, uh, very good classic rendition of the vintage accessory because he had a similar purple gun with less detail, obviously, but it's pretty close to it. I think this looks really good. All right, so overall, I think it's pretty obvious I like this figure. He's a normal Motu Classics guy, so with he doesn't have any real flaws, so I'm not going to say that there's anything really bad about him. Uh, he's got that cool mosquito head. He comes with a cool gun. He's got the cool translucent center there. I mean, there's not a whole lot to complain about with this guy. If you like Mosquito, he's one to get if you don't already have him. But if you're a Motu Classics fan, you probably already have him if you really wanted him. Uh, but he's, he's going to make a good addition to the, the Horde ranks on the shelf. So that's going to do it for this review, everyone. As always, stay tuned for more. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.